Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Weekly Academics and you're listening to Fez and Amdal. And I am back with the sixth and the last part of the second chapter that is Rise of Indian Nationalism and the Indian National Congress. And in this part, we're going to look into a bit of details about how the INC was formed, how the Indian National Congress was formed, and we're going to talk about the first two sessions of Indian National Congress. And before uh, listening to this, I would recommend that you listen to the previous podcasts of this chapter so that it is easy for you to understand the chronology of the events going on in the particular period of time. Okay, so without taking much time, let's dive into it and let's look at how basically was the Indian National Congress formed. So, in the previous podcast, I left you at the point where the Indian National Conference was held in 1883 under the lead of Surendranath Banerjee. Okay. So, now, after this conference, which was the first in the major uh, event that occurred at the national level, there came up the idea of the Indian National Congress. But, who was the one who actually approached people with this idea? It was not someone Indian. It was a British man. It was an Englishman named A. O. Hume. Okay, Alan Octavius Hume. Okay, so A. O. Hume was a retired civil servant, and what he did was he wrote a letter and he circulated this letter to the graduates of Calcutta University. Okay, he wrote this letter to the graduates of Calcutta University, um, urging them to come together and to meet. And to formulate something at a national level, an organization at a national level. He said that if, and I quote, if only 50 men good and true can be found to join as founders, the thing can be established and the founders and the future development would be comparatively easy, is what he said in that letter. So he urged everybody to urge the young people to come together and to make an organization to agitate for the demands of the general Indian public. Okay. And under his guidance, the Indian National Congress was formed and people from different parts of the country all came together for the formation of the Indian National Congress. And the first meeting of Indian National Congress was thus held in December 1885 in Mumbai or Bombay and W.C. Banerjee was the one who was the president of this first session of Indian National Congress. Okay, So, because of the contribution of A.O. Hume, he is also referred to as the father or the founder of Indian National Congress and um, Gopal Krishna Gokhale, uh, he said or we could say that he feared that the Britishers would have uh, suppressed and would have tried to find a way to, you know, put down the formation of Indian National Congress also. But it was just because A.O. Hume was an Englishman who took this initiative that the Indian National Congress was able to be formed, was able to come up. Okay, that's what uh, Gopal Krishna Gokhale has said, and it is in a way true also because if it were it was an Indian person who would have founded this, the Britishers would have in one or the other way tried to curb it down. So now that the first session was held, let's look into what happened in the first session. So this first session of Indian National Congress held in December 1885 in Mumbai under the presidentship of W.C. Banerjee was attended by 72 delegates. Okay, and delegates from all parts of the country, from all parts of India, 72 people joined in. Okay. And there were some eminent personalities like Dada Bhai Nauruji, W.C. Bonerji, obviously, K.T. Telang, Feroz Shah Mehta, Badruddin Tayabji, or Subramaniam Ayer. Then there was Justice Ranade, there was Bhairamji Malabri. All these people, all these eminent personalities, all these people who were capable of influencing the general public were a part of this first session of the Indian National Congress. Now, in this session, W.C. Banerji, he was the president. And in this session, he he cited certain um, principal objectives that the Indian National Congress should be looking forward to, that that should be their aim. So let's look into what were the objectives of INC. Okay, so there are five major objectives that um, W.C. Banerjee uh, mentioned in that first session. 
and they go as follows number 1 being to enable the national workers from different parts of the country from all parts of india to become personally known to each other he he wanted that people who are working for the nation should know each other irrespective of where they come from of which region they stay in which area they stay in so he wanted to enable the national workers from all parts of india to personally know each other okay second objective was to end all the racial religious and provincial prejudices and promote national unity among the lovers of the country so he um, he wanted to promote national unity and yes obviously promoting national unity is possible only when there are no prejudices no discriminations on the basis of like race religion region etc okay so the second was that the third one was um, the formulation of popular demands of the vital indian needs and their presentation before the government so wc banerji urged that the indian national congress should try to formulate the genuine grievances of the general indian public and present it before the british government so that they could be properly addressed okay the fourth one was to train and organize public opinion in the country so that even the general public can give their opinion even the general public has knowledge about what is going on and so that these leaders could understand what the public actually wanted and the fifth objective was to decide upon the political tasks or the jobs to be undertaken during the upcoming years so just a quick recap what were the five objectives of the indian national congress cited out by wc banerji in the first session held in december 1885 they go as follows the number one enable the national workers from all parts of india to become personally known to each other number two and all racial religious and provincial prejudices and promote the feeling of national unity among all lovers of the country number 3 the formulation of popular demands of vital indian problems and their presentation before the government number 4 to train and organize public opinion in the country and number 5 to to decide upon the political tasks or jobs to be undertaken during the upcoming years okay so that was what happened in the first session now they plan to take sessions every year annually so the congress met every year during the christmas vacations that is in the december period and now 1886 the session is done 1885 session is done and now we're looking into the second session of congress that is the session of 1886 now this session was held in calcutta and it was uh, presided over by dada bhai noroji dada bhai noroji was the president of the second session that was held in kolkata in 1886 and in this session there were nearly about 450 delegates who attended this session okay so that was the second session the, the third session happened in madras or chennai in 1887 obviously and this one was had badruddin tayyab ji as the president and there were over 600 delegates from across the country who attended this session so that's how the indian national congress went on increasing and tried to achieve its goals so here at this point we done with the second chapter that is rise of indian nationalism and the formation of indian national congress and um in the next podcast i will be starting with the third chapter wherein we'll be looking into the nature of uh, the these eminent personalities the nature of these political leaders we're going to divide them into two groups and we'll look into them comparatively one by one okay so that will be the next podcast until then you're listening to fezai namdar at weekly academics do you like the podcast share it with your friends and if there are any doubts feedbacks or comments you can put it down in the comments section if you want me to make podcast on certain specific chapters certain specific subjects do put it down in the comments section or you can also dm me at weekly.academics that is my instagram handle so all the best take care be home be safe you listening to fezai namdar at weekly academics bye bye